to my channel. Um, today is my birthday and I'm going to be filming the look that um, I'm going to wear today. So um, I'm going to be wearing this little bandana thing. Happy birthday bandana. I had it since last year and it's really cute. Um, I actually just got this BH Cosmetics palette. It comes in this box right here. So I believe this is the light to medium um, palette. And I think I'm going to be using these colors starting from here down here. And I've never used cream foundation so this is going to be kind of like a first review for this palette and for using cream foundation. So I'm going to get this color right here in the corner. I might warm up the product with my finger so I'm going to rub my finger on this first. I already prepped my skin with moisturizer. That way I won't have any dry patches or anything like that. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually create your own color. Like if one is too dark or too light, you can just mix the colors up together to get your right color. This one is a little tan, so I'm going to go in with a lighter color. So I wanted to mention something that actually happened to my boyfriend and I yesterday. We heard like a loud thump. I'm going to use this brush and just do circular motions without we're walking by that they even jumped up like this. So it was obvious that something had happened, like it was a loud sound because you know it's different when you're in a car as if you're out in the street walking, you know, you could hear things differently. When we got close enough, we were able to see that the car was basically in the middle of the street, like literally in the middle of the street. And people were just driving by it, like literally just driving by it, like if it wasn't a big deal or anything, like going on with their day, like, you know, and I just couldn't believe it, my boyfriend either. So what we did was he automatically said you know and i said too we were like should we call the cops we have to call the cops because it just like literally happened we had already called the cops and they were asking my boyfriend like how like how bad was the accident but at, when my boyfriend was on the phone with 911 he wasn't able to really see what was going on but i mean we saw it was a bad accident but we weren't able to tell like if the person was like hanging out the car or nothing like that and that's what they basically wanted to know that the that there's like debris everywhere and they're blocking the intersection of the main street and we see and we're able to see that her airbag came out or his airbag came out of a car and they're like okay well let me transfer you to the paramedics and my boyfriend did say that the 911 caller was kind of rude she was like oh well you have to let me know how bad it is because if it's nothing then why are you calling 911 and it's like really we're calling 911 because it is obviously a bad accident and then we parked right across the street from it there was a gas station so we parked right in the parking lot of the gas station my boyfriend and I crossed the street to go to the car because literally no one was like even bothering to help like to see if the person was okay or nothing like that and then when we went up to the car we saw this man like i don't know who he was but he was trying to move the debris out of the way like so that way cars can pass by and he wasn't even bothering to see how the girl was doing or nothing he was just like minding his business just like sweeping up the debris with his feet and i was scared like Honestly, there was like debris everywhere, like the front of her car was smashed in. My boyfriend knocked on the door and then when she looked at us, she was a, girl, a young girl, like literally like in her early 20s. And she was like um, bleeding like and you were able to see like the airbag popped out and um, there was oil spilling out of her car, like a lot of oil. So the first thing that occurred to me was like, yo, if this fucking car blows up right now, like we're gonna fucking like explode into pieces. But anyway, and like the next day is my birthday. Like 
I'm really doing this but you know it was just kind of like an act of kindness and it just it was just a human thing to do to see if that person was okay you know what I'm saying like you have to do that like are you kidding me that could have been someone you know so I'm gonna go in with one of the light shades right here I think this one right here for my concealer my under eye concealer she had blood like around her mouth and her all over her face and then she was she started crying like when she saw us she was like hyperventilating obviously and she was freaking out and then my boyfriend and i were like are you okay like you know um we called the police they're gonna be here and then she's like okay like you know i'm just so scared and when she said that i felt so bad i wanted to cry like i just wanted to hold her like do you want us to call anyone for you and she was like no like it's okay i i called my mom you know she's on her way and then so we were like okay like relax you know the cops are coming like they're coming for you like you know just stay calm and when i was walking back to the sidewalk there was cars literally literally so desperate that they were willing to just crash into each other and i was like oh my god are these people being serious right now they went to fucking run us over and i was so angry i was looking at them and i was like hold the fuck up melissa your language <sighs> Oh my god, Siri, go away. Okay, so I'm done with my concealer. I'm going to go in with translucent powder. This one is drugstore. Okay, so I'm patting down. I think I'm going to bake. That means that I'm going to set the translucent powder on my concealer and let it really soak in the product for a few minutes. It really gives you a flawless look. You're doing like a full face of makeup or like you really, if you want your makeup to stay on all day, this is what you do. This is a pretty good trick. But if you're just gonna wear minimum makeup or you're not gonna wear your makeup all day, then you can just grab a little bit and then just tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, and that's it. Now I'm going to contour my face. So I turn 21 today and it is crazy. I still feel young, like, I mean 21 is young, but... I mean young as in like a teenager or something like that. And I still look like one. Everybody thinks I'm like 17, 18. Sometimes that could be a compliment. Sometimes it could be an insult. But then again, it's not people's fault. So... You know, I'm 21 now and... You know, I'm not really where I want to be in life yet. And, you know, it does get a little overwhelming. You know, like when your birthday comes around, you're like, you know, we're only getting older. So whether it takes a long time to do or not, you know, you should still go for it because that's what life's about. That's what it's all about. You know, that's how we grow. That's how we learn. That's how we become professionals at what we love to do. It takes time and I know that sometimes it could be like a hassle or you get lazy or you just lose motivation because that's how I am too. I lose motivation so quick. Like one day I could feel like I could conquer the world. Like I feel like I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Like live in the past like oh I should have done it, I should have done it. It's like you know what, it's never too late. If you didn't do it this year or if you didn't do it last month or yesterday then do it today oh i need to blend it if this year didn't go so good for you then you know forget about it shit happens just be blessed that you know you're alive and you're capable of doing anything that you want you know what i'm saying and a new year is coming
It's my first time using it. Found this at the 99 cent store. And this is actually vegan and cruelty free. Actually, all the products that I'm using are vegan and cruelty free. So, on the lid, and just dab. You can use eyelash glue, and I've tried that. It does work, but I do not like how it feels. So this is how the glitter came out. I'm going to be using these right here. I went more for a natural eyelash because I want the glitter to show, you know? But yeah, so I'm going to apply these lashes. I'll be back. I'm going to go in with mascara and curl them a little bit, but I'm going to allow them to dry. So for now, I'm going to go in with highlight. And of course, I forgot my fan brush. So I'm going to go in with my finger and use the highlighters I have on my Carly Bible palette. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go in with lipstick and I'm going to be using this one right here by LA Girl Cosmetics. I'm going to use a lip liner in the color burgundy. It's from the dollar store, but that's the color right there. Oh. So I actually have on chapstick and that's a good idea when you're using um, liquid mattes. <clears throat> Go right on top. Okay, so this is the final look with my hair done, my makeup done, and my jewelry on, and my dress. So you can do this look for New Year's or Christmas. This is kind of like the signature look for New Year's Eve. But yeah, so thank you for watching my video and make sure to like it if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye!